All right, so we're checking out the only game where there's a built-in black hole reset button. It's Universe Sandbox 2. The solar system isn't good enough for what we're about to do. Give me a Saturn. Black holes, aka the Hoovers of the universe, are about to be used in many different ways. Universe Sandbox 2 is awesome because it gets to kick physics in the teeth, and we can have black holes sit exactly where they are without moving anywhere. So, uh, unfortunately, Saturn, you gotta get ripped in half. It's not that everyone doesn't love you, it's just your rings make this look really cool. Give me your lunch. Wow, give me the ability to spell lunch money. This black hole really doesn't need to be very big. I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay, it's only five centimeters now. Ho. With two black holes surrounding the glorious Saturn that are only five centimeters and four centimeters in radius, we have the ability to stop time as gods of the universe do. And now we'll get to see what happens when two locked black holes begin tearing at the planet. Part of me is curious if they're even close enough to do anything. Not like we can't mess with it because we absolutely can. Saturn still looks like it's in one piece though. It's not like I want you to die Saturn, but I kind of want you to die. Oh, the entirety of Saturn is being moved. That's not good. Don't mind if I just kind of drag you right over here. Maybe drag you right over here. Ho is kind of difficult to move because it's so small. The word I mean. I kind of want to lock Saturn just to see if only its rings get ripped out. This essentially just causes more torture to the planet, but honestly, science. All right, Saturn, you know what to do, baby. All right, let's kind of move things along here. Yeah, see, sadness immediately happening. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the planet does stay, but the rings get totally jackinated. Just what I always wanted. It's only when you get right up on top of a hoe that you realize just how insignificant it is and how overpowering it is. See how much an extra centimeter will do for you? The lunch money is getting took, like, significantly. Meanwhile, Saturn is making both tie pasta out of its friggin rings over here. The rings are slightly more powerful though, because see, before it was just this kind of ring, but now it's ringing like this as well. I don't really know if there's more damage to Saturn's pride or more damage because all of its rings are beating the hell out of its surface because there is a huge chunk of circular rings that are about to smash into it. I hate to say it, but Ho's not really doing too much. I may have to move Ho in a little bit. Get your ass in there closer. Yeah, that's hot. Now Ho's doing some stuff. Now it's starting to pull some rings around. Again, I think that if we have bigger black holes, you're gonna see more of a ridiculous pull. It's just kind of cool to watch all of the rings get wrapped around Saturn in odd and satisfying ways. I think we're gonna need to speed this up though because the rings can take a hell of a lot of punishment. There we go. See, it's like unwrapping a, a Tootsie Roll or something essentially. Just gotta pull the wrapper from both sides. I think the biggest issue here is the rings don't know which way to go. So they get pulled this way by this black hole, and then they kind of start getting pulled this way by this black hole, and slowly all of them just impact Saturn. But Saturn's pretty big, so it really doesn't care that much. Although now Saturn is starting to glow red hot, which is pretty bad. Although the temperature... Uh, I didn't click on Saturn correctly. I can't click on Saturn because... There we go. So Saturn is 2300 degrees Celsius right now. I don't know if it's from the impact of all of its rings over and over again or if it's from the stress of being ripped in half by two of the black holes but again i don't really know if the black holes are doing that much gravitationally let's go ahead and continue to speed this up just to see what happens i don't know if saturn is going to melt apart or uh yeah it's getting pretty bad now yeah see the radius of saturn was going down pretty quick and now Saturn is gone. Actually, Saturn is not gone. Hold on, this is kind of interesting. Saturn got shrunk enough to the point where it couldn't be pulled any longer by the size of those black holes. <laughs> sort of, I don't know. This is kind of like the ghost of Saturn. It's see-through. I've never really seen anything like this before. Breaking the game is something that we do enjoy doing. We need bigger black holes. You know what, Earth? You get to have rings. I know you've always wanted them. Hold on, Earth. You get a lot of rings. I'm gonna give you a frame rate wrecking amount of rings. There we go. If I had the moon right right now would that be bad Eh, whatever moon oh see it's out of it's out of the area of the rings everything's just fine let me just go ahead and chain the earth to right where it is and do some 115 meter radius black holes see how that does 
Jesus. 115 meters of anus destruction. Go get him, black holes. Oh, okay. That happened a lot faster than I thought it would, but it does look awesome. The earth is also beginning to shatter. I think I may have put this black hole slightly closer than this black hole. So most of our earthly particulates is being yanked this way. I wonder if it'll get thin enough to the point where the rings collapse in around the earth. That is absolutely spectacular. I mean, unless you're on earth, then, you know, you're dying very, very quickly. But if you're not on earth and you're not the one that's getting ripped in half, it does look amazing. You'll notice uh, over to our left that there are several flaming comets. I don't know what the hell. Oh, that was the moon. Bye, moon. There are several flaming comets of death that are now wrapping around the black hole like a fiery stew. Who's your daddy? It's me. There we go. The moon is kind of still in one piece. I think, you know, it's 2,400 degrees Celsius, but it is still there. This is awesome though. Earth is only 4,000 kilometers in radius right now. I don't think that the earth is gonna last much longer. It's kind of interesting that it keeps throwing all the flaming death at earth, but it can't ever reach it because there's enough gravity that it pulls everything back in over and over again. Give yourself a little distance and uh, kind of looks like a mouse. Go ahead and uh, speed things up and see how long it takes the cassette tape to rewind over here <laughs> the cassette tape of saturn rings god saturn rings are awesome something else i was thinking about is for things like the perfectly engineered solar system which is going to cause my computer to want to shove a book down my throat uh what happens if you put two massive black holes on either side of that before we do it though i'm not gonna lie i want to put saturn with a bunch of rings in between four black holes actually you know what let's do jupiter there we go jupiter's looking legit now four black holes surrounding jupiter with saturn rings this is like something out of world star hip-hop they're about to freaking jump this thing let's go ahead and begin moving the timeline along so that we can watch as jupiter is pulled in three four different ways. I don't know why I was not able to count for a moment there. Jupiter is also getting really hot all at once, but that is spectacular. Sometimes I wonder if this game accents a lot of my violent tendencies. This isn't violence though. See, it's art. That's what we're doing here. It's very, it's a very artistic death for Jupiter as the rings are all ripped in almost equidistant ways. The, the black holes, you know, some of them had had a little bit of a better education or what have you. They're a little bit closer. But other than that, I mean, they're there for the most part. Jupiter um, is getting ripped apart pretty quick, though. Really, really big pieces are starting to fall into the black hole. And it almost looks like it's getting cracked in half. Oh, yeah. We're cracking open, open Jupiter like you crack open beers. So that's how small Jupiter gets when it's just shooting flaming chunks off at this point. Man, you have to get really up on Jupiter to see what's left of it. And in just a moment here, it will phase out of existence because there's only 99 kilometers left. All the smoke is coming off. And there, we have the same instance. Jupiter turns into like this weird interdimensional ghost of itself. Explain this science. All right, big ass engineered solar system. We're going to need really, really big black holes for this. Oh, one million times the sun. Sure. I'm not really sure how fast the solar system is about to disintegrate. So I've got it slowed down a lot. We'll go ahead and pick this up. Okay. That hurts the computer a lot. <laughs> That many planets, hold on, getting sucked into a black hole really makes the computer sad. This is what it looks like from this position. It happens pretty fast. The death of the solar system happens pretty fast. The sun was a little bit closer to this black hole, so it too is going to have to deal with this. And the amount of dust that is just being ejaculated into the surrounding area is pretty epic. I've never torn a solar system in half like that. That's a lot of fire. Yeah, what's happening is all of the planets are just barely orbiting the black hole. And when they get close enough, they just explode. The sun's gone. The sun didn't have a chance, but all the planets wrap around and just get torn into pieces. It's like planet genocide over here. I couldn't even tell you how many planets we've killed at this point. The planetary sad violin happening right now. Is that a planet that is, it is. It's like a tiny piece of a planet that is orbiting the black hole perfectly and not exp Hold on, is this planet going to continue to survive i'm kind of curious now let nope didn't survive at all got shot into the universe and there goes the crowd of planets everything disintegrates okay 
I did a moon swarm around this planet and the moon's just it's like fireworks this is some memorial day stuff right over here they get so hot that they spontaneously explode i don't i didn't even have to put black holes in but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna redo this stop time make a whole bunch of moon swarms and then we're gonna put two black holes in what the hell this thing's blowing smoke rings that is freaking awesome that right there was a drive-by right there slammed right into one another having a ton of moons is incredible so you grab your moon swarm over here you start adding and then you start adding and adding and adding and adding oh this is gonna be so bad and adding all right that should be enough moons for the moment what am i saying there's never enough moons just kill my computer let's just do it there we go i'm just guessing but i'm gonna go ahead and say it there's probably about to be a lot of explosions you actually have to back up a little bit there we go let me get this perfectly on black so that we can see i don't i forgot i've lost the black holes i forgot where they are because they blend in with the surroundings they're wearing black hole urban camouflage and speed things up a little bit here there, now you can start to see where the black holes are oh my god my computer oh it's not good oh i think i just cried nope didn't crash the game thought i crashed the game didn't quite crash it <laughs> the planet is getting its ass kicked too that's the double sparklers right there you don't have to pay for your fireworks you can just get universe sandbox too and have all the fireworks you'll ever need somehow the planet is still mostly in one piece that's cool the planet is epileptically seizing but it's still here and it still has seven jupiters of mass what the hell just happened why did one saturn just evaporate another saturn my plan was i was gonna put two saturns together and then i was going to put a black hole surrounding them but instead one saturn proved to be the superior saturn and completely destroyed its brethren and now as you would imagine it will kill itself due to the shame and mental anguish as all of its own rings begin to catch it on fire i mean i i guess i'll just see where this takes us because now i'm kind of curious how strong this other saturn is not strong enough the rings decide to do their own thing double saturn double black holes hell yes go ahead and slow that down a little bit because damn i didn't think they would be pulled apart quite so quickly but we are using the one mass black hole the one sun's mass black holes which are insanely more powerful than the little four centimeter black holes that we usually test stuff with you can see all of the pieces are completely evaporating they are all being sucked into the dyson of the cosmos in such a way that makes saturn sad because that was pretty much the only thing that made it a cool planet <laughs> uh it's getting kind of dusty over here you uh you planning on taking those planets apart or are you just gonna rip the rings out looks like the planets are kind of starting to fall apart now i shouldn't really call these things hoovers or dysons because they don't clean the the universe all they do is freaking clutter the place up take a look at this look at how far back you can get and have all this crap in the middle of the universe god i can't even find where the hell we were oh here it is two flaming saturns burning brightly before they turn into nothing <laughs> well this proves it if black holes didn't want to you know like try and eat each other and you could anchor them to a point in space multiple black holes surrounding something is awesome hey folks hope you enjoyed this episode of universe sandbox 2 till the next time stay foxy much love